Kelty and the Unicorn. Strolling through the forest one day with Dougie, Kelty was thinking about doing something nice for her mummy. Her mummy was very kind and loving and always done wonderful things to make her happy. But Kelty did not know what she could do that would be special. She helped with the washing up and kept her bedroom tidy, but she wanted to do something that would really show her how much she loved her. As Kelty got near to the oak tree, she was brought back to the moment by a strange sound. Getting closer to the oak tree, she heard it again and could just make out a tiny voice saying, Help me, help me, please help me. The tiny voice seemed to be coming from somewhere in the branches of the oak tree, but Kelty couldn't quite see where. Looking around, she suddenly saw a very small sparkling light coming from inside a very thick cobweb. Please help me. I'm trapped inside the cobweb and can't get out. Carefully pulling the cobweb apart, Kelty released the daintiest little fairy who was smaller than Kelty's hand. She was beautiful with long curly blonde hair and the most perfect little rosebud mouth. She wore a powder blue dress whose skirt resembled rose petals. On her feet were a pair of pale blue shoes which sparkled like diamonds and in her hand she held a wand which shone like the sun. Oh, thank you so much, the fairy said to Kelty. I've been trapped in that all night. I was flying around last night granting wishes to all the good children. When I arrived back to the oak tree, I suddenly lost my balance and fell into the cobweb. I hope you are okay, said Kelty, looking concerned. I feel fine, said the fairy, brushing bits of cobwebs from off her arms and clothes. My name is Kelty, and this is my best friend, Dougie. My name is Misty, and I am the fairy of the oak tree. I'm so pleased to meet you. For help me today, I will grant you three wishes. Oh, replied Kelty, I've never had any wishes before. Yes, you have, said Misty. You ask for many things, just like everybody in the world, and I grant many of them, but only when you are good. Do you remember when you wished for a puppy? Yes, I do, Kelty replied, smiling. I asked my mummy and daddy for weeks until they said yes. Well, that was a wish I granted for you, but you had to be extra good for a long time before it could happen. And then I brought Dougie to you. That was such a special day. We suddenly saw an advert in the paper for him, as if by magic. Misty smiled at Kelty. That's how my magic works, she said. But today you get three wishes, which will happen straight away. Now, what is your first wish? Excitedly, Kelty said, I wish for a big juicy bone for Dougie. He is such a good friend to me and deserves a special treat. Your wish is granted, said Misty, as she waved her magic wand. In the blink of an eye, a large juicy bone appeared on the ground in front of Dougie. He wasted no time as he licked his lips and started chewing on his special treat. Thank you, Kelty said, feeling very happy for Dougie. He will really enjoy that. Now what? What is your second wish going to be, Kelty? asked Misty. Kelty thought for a moment and then said, I wish for some flowers to give to my mummy to show her how much I love her. Misty flew over to a bare patch of ground nearby and waved her magic wand. Suddenly, a beautiful garden full of different coloured flowers appeared. Flying back over to Kelty, she said, when you are ready to go home, you can pick as many flowers as you can carry for your mummy. Thank you so much, said Kelty. They are lovely. My mummy will be very happy. Now, Kelty, you have one wish left. What would you like to wish for? Thinking for a while, Kelty eventually said, There is nothing I can think of. I don't really know what to wish for. What have you always wanted to do or have? asked Misty. I've always wanted to see a unicorn, answered Kelty. 
Misty waved her magic wand and told Kelty to turn around. Slowly, Kelty turned around, a little nervous as to what might be behind her. But there was nothing there, only trees. Disappointed, she turned back to Misty. Keep looking, said Misty. Suddenly, Kelty could see something moving out of the trees. It was the most beautiful white unicorn she had only ever seen in her picture book. As she walked towards Kelty, she could see how magnificent she was. Her horn was rainbow coloured, and as she moved gracefully towards Kelty, she could see her long mane and tail were also rainbow coloured. Wow, exclaimed Kelty, feeling quite breathless. You are beautiful. She walked up to the unicorn and stroked her head as she almost seemed to smile back in response. Would you like to go for a ride on her? Misty asked. Yes, please, Kelty replied excitedly. Her name is Bellini, which means simply beautiful. Just tell her what you want her to do and she will obey. Looking at the unicorn, Kelty said, Bellini, please take me for a ride. Bellini knelt down so Kelty could climb onto her back. There was no saddle, so Kelty sat right up against Bellini's neck and held on tight to her mane. Sensing that Kelty was comfortable, Bellini stood up and started walking around the forest. Kelty felt like the queen sitting so grandly on this beautiful unicorn. It certainly was a dream come true and she enjoyed every minute of it. Eventually, Bellini arrived back at the oak tree and knelt down so Kelty could climb off. Kelty felt so happy, she thought her heart would burst. Giving Bellini a great big hug, she told her, This has been the best day of my life. I will never forget you. The unicorn whinnied and smiled one last time at Kelty before she turned and walked back into the forest. Kelty watched Bellini go until there was nothing left to see. With happy tears in her eyes, she turned and said to Misty, Thank you so much for my three wishes. I love them all. You are welcome, Kelty, Misty said. Always remember that when you do something nice for people, nice things will happen for you. Flying over the pretty flower bed, she said. Now pick a huge bunch of flowers for your mummy and tell her every day how much you love her. It's time for me to go now as I have other wishes to fulfil. Goodbye, Kelty. Goodbye, Misty, said Kelty as she watched her fly away into the forest. Kelty thought about this magical day as she started to pick the biggest bunch of flowers for her mummy. As she picked some red tulips, she noticed a tiny pansy hiding amongst the tulips. It was rainbow coloured, just like Bellini's horn. Picking it carefully, Kelty thought to herself, this is a special flower. I will take it home and keep it with my other pieces of treasure. Soon she had picked so many flowers, she could hardly hold them. That's enough, she said to Dougie. Let's go home and surprise Mummy. The end.